Hello and welcome back to my channel, Jazz. I'm your host, Nobody, and today we're going back to the game Subnautica. I think the first thing we're going to do on today's episode is we're going to go to the pilot's last known location. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. All right. The warning has been adhered to. We will not be fucking around here much longer. I do know that there is a pretty deep, uh, thermally active area around here, and I do believe that uh, vent does take us pretty far down into the map, so we will eventually have to go down there at some point, but later. Yeah, as you can see, that's probably one of the entryways right there, and this is going to be the one that takes us down to the artifact, which we will do after uh, this, after we get to the pilot. Alright, so this guy's spiraling out of control. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to come back here. I don't have the laser cutter made, uh, so we do need that in order to get into that ship properly. Okay, so we're in this biome. I forgot where exactly it was, but uh, I guess we found it. Okay, so this is definitely going to be deeper than 150 meters that this sea truck is allowed to go, so we will have to do a little bit with the uh, little propulsion thing we got. Oh, there we go. Barely went under it for just a second, and it took four health off. Oh, look, the little whales. All right, let's go ahead and scan one of the whales. Why not? There we go. The glow whale. Nice. Hey, rubies, I needed that. That's good. Hopefully we can get a few more. What is in here? Is this something that we need? Sea chart afterburner upgrade. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need that. Hey, another ruby. Let's go ahead and scan this one before we pick it up. There we go. Uh, turn the light off. I don't necessarily need it right now. Some more rubies. Thank God. So I know we're going to need actually quite a bit of rubies. So I'm going to try to get as many as humanly possible while I am here. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. What is this? Aquarium module fragment? I don't think I've ever had that before. Is that... That must have came in an update. Alright, so we're getting some prawn suit upgrades as well. The grappling hook is probably the most valuable one. Uh, we still don't have the blueprint for the prawn suit itself, but it'd be nice to have some things in preparation for its inevitable uh, arrival. Finding a lot of these titanium nodes, but I don't necessarily need them at the moment. I feel uh, saving inventory space for more valuable resources uh, is a little bit of a higher priority than titanium, where we can grab that really anywhere. Ah, here we go, another thing. What is this? Alright, so this is the Exosuit Thermal Reactor Module. Okay, good. Uh, that'll be, I'm assuming, for the prawn suit. Okay, so I do see this little bit of alien tech, so I guess we're going to follow that for a little bit, maybe into this. Yeah, here's a pretty open cave, and there's an old oxygen module. That's good. A little oxygen lily pad. What is this? Ultra capacity tank fragment. Yeah, that sounds super, super nice. Uh, so another ruby as well. So this is also a node. Don't you take my shit. Are you trying to give me something? All right, buddy, I'll take your quartz. All right, so this is like a big ore deposit. So when we inevitably get the prawn suit, we can come down here and mine things like this for a lot of a certain particular uh, resource. There will be nodes for each individual type of resource, or at least the main ones, and it can be very helpful. There's the second prawn suit thermal reactor piece. Some more rubies, I will take that. No, I don't need more gold, but I'll take the rubies. Ah, uh, here we go, the ultra capacity tank fragment. Hell yeah huge for us what do you want guy why are they so friendly all of a sudden I, I, I wanted I wish I could give you something hold on hold on let me give him a, a crystal here so if I put that away put a crystal I can't give him a crystal I don't know what to give him okay here's another thing all right what do we got this time this will be a sea truck horsepower upgrade that's pretty good We'll need another one of those to fully unlock it, but that's all right. Okay, so we're in desperate need of some oxygen. Uh, there's a gel sack. I think it's about time we started collecting those as well, because I do know they're going to come in handy. Uh, one of the main things we can make with that is aerogel. 
which allows us to build some pretty advanced uh, upgrades for various things in the game. Um, I'm thinking we might be coming across some uranium here soon. All right, there's some more oxygen. At least oxygen is being taken care of, and it looks like this might even lead to that uh, relic there. You know, in hindsight, I should have made a beacon, so if we do come across something pretty valuable that we want to come back to, we would have a means of marking it. Uh, I'll definitely make one when I go back to the ship. All right, more oxygen. Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? Fuck you. I don't even know who you are. Oh, we found her. Marguerite Maida's the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Okay, so we're going to have to get in there. Uh, it's nice that we got the moon pool but we need to be able to breathe we're gonna run out of oxygen here soon well not probably not there we go a little refill on oxygen we can make it in here prawn suit customized prawn suit so is that gonna be a blueprint no it's just a description okay all right we, we got the moon pool that's a pretty huge upgrade for us that will allow us to do some extraordinary things all right, let's see. Is there anything else to scan? We're going to go ahead and open this. I believe there's going to be a cutsuit that triggers, or a cutscene that triggers when we go through here. Yeah. What's up, little fella? Ain't you cute? I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister, Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Okay. Finally gave us control again. Snowstalker. We're going to see a lot of those guys on the surface. Uh, test override module fragment. I do know we need that. Uh, Snow Fox fragment. That's going to be a... The Snow Fox is a means for transportation. What was that that I just picked up? Sea truck perimeter defense upgrade. Man, I, I think there's new stuff in the game since the last time I played. I could be mistaken. What's up, little fella? I ain't messing with you. Large room glass dome fragment. Hell yeah, we want this. Now, this is something we will never be able to use uh, deep because the structural integrity of this thing is not that great, even though it's being used right here. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath but would she sink before or after I died of thirst I had a knife a repair tool and three liters of water at least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion now those reapers they're practically all muscle but there's some fat in there I was able to keep warm and drink the water and I didn't have much but I had that repair tool so I had a spark it took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. So we did find some uranium that's going to be pretty big. I can't recall right off rip uh, what we're going to use it for. Uh, I do know you can use it for reactor... Uh, cores when you do inevitably build a bioreactor not a bioreactor but just a regular reactor all right so we're gonna swing by here just get a little refill on this oxygen and then we're gonna try to get some more of this resource while we are here 
Oh, come on. Just get up here, you bitch. All right, there we go. Full, full oxygen. Nice. So let's try to get a little bit more of these resources before we head out. Uh, it would have been nice to have a beacon, but you know what? Shit happens. At least we know it's underneath uh, the pilot's last known, known location marker, so that's big. What is this? Thermal plant fragment. I don't know if we have that yet or not. Uh, apparently not, but we do now. All right, some more uranium. Uh, the lithium that we're getting here is pretty nice. Diamonds, I don't need any more diamonds at this time. A little bit more. I do know we go through a lot of rubies. That's why I'm putting such an emphasis on the rubies themselves versus some other things. All right, and there we go. We are back in the sea truck. Uh, let's go ahead and offload some of these valuable resources, such as these rubies and uranium. Okay, so we have a sea truck perimeter defense upgrade. So let's go ahead and put that in there and see what happens. So to access upgrades, we have to actually physically go out of the ship, put that in there. Don't really know what it does yet, but uh, we do have it. So let's see. So we do have a little option, I believe, if we press 1. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so we click. All right, so that's to dissuade any attacking uh, entities towards our sea truck. So that's a pretty good thing to have. You know, before we leave this ship here, let's see if I can go ahead and make our laser cutter here. Are we taking damage? I think we're being attacked. Hold on. Okay, it doesn't appear to be the case. But, you know, it can't be too safe. So we're just going to park it up here against the side of the ship. Yeah, for sure. I do not want to be attacked. So I hear some pretty violent stuff nearby. So before I do make this, we have the repair tool. Yeah, we just don't have the cutter itself. So in order to make the laser cutter, we need just two diamond and titanium, which we have back at the base. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll come back here. Uh, to take care of this ship, and then on the way back to the base, we can check out this artifact here. Hopefully it's not too damn deep. I do want to make sure that I can leave the ship somewhere that these guys really can't mess with me. Uh, we don't want a beach. We do not want a beach. Okay, so what's going to be the best way to get down there? Okay, I found our hole here. So let's go down here a little bit to try to preserve our ship from those angry little guys. All right, this looks about as deep as I'm willing to take the sea truck. So let's go ahead and get out of here, and hopefully the sea truck is in a pretty good spot that won't be attacked. And hopefully there's oxygen down here as well. There is an egg. Um, yeah, fuck it. Let's take, the, let's take an egg. We do need one for the aquarium anyway. All right, and here we go. Gotta rush it to get down here. There's some oxygen. We don't need it quite yet. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're down here in a like an old quarry of sorts. Here's a little crab guy. He can mess me up pretty bad if he wanted to. Rock puncher, huh? And here's the prawn suit. I don't know how many more we have to scan to get it. It looks like we might have it already. Let's go ahead and check. No. What is this? What is this little guy? Rock grub. Hey, I think this might be a rock grub or a rock puncher egg. Let's go ahead and take that. I wouldn't mind having a little mini one. So like I said earlier, here's a, a little titanium node. If we, oh God, he was after me. Oof. But yeah, these little nodes right here, we can get massive uh, resources of a particular type. Like this one would be Ruby. Hey, here's a blueprint of sorts. What is this? Headlamp, that would be awfully helpful. It'd free up my hands here. Okay, let's go ahead and do this PDA. Uh, we found the artifact, I think. There's another prawn suit module of some kind, an arm, if you will. It won't let me scan it for whatever reason. That's okay. There's the artifact. Okay, so I do know that there is going to be diamond down here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab two because I know we need it. We can go ahead and make that laser cutter and not even have to go back to base. Uh, but there is one right here. And I do believe I spot another one. So that will be our two for our laser cutter and we can get titanium anywhere. 
Uh, we are running out of oxygen, though. Okay, two of four. All right, let's panic. Get some oxygen. Then we can go back over here and scan some more shit. Okay, so there's going to be a little spot here as well. Prom suit jump jet upgrade. Nice. There's another PDA. Oh, hey, Farvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. Pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. No, okay, that's interesting. Okay. All right, let's like, yeah, we got the prom suit, so that's huge for us. Uh, that'd be a really good way to go really deep. Uh, I do have to be a little quick here because we are uh, kind of low on oxygen, and these little plants are kind of few and far between. So here's an oxygen plant as well. So I do know that eventually we can get in here. Here's a PDA I almost missed. But yeah, oxygen is kind of kind of becoming a thing, so. I definitely want to move it along here. Alright, let's go up. Up in like a little elevator shaft. It's almost like this area at some point may or may not have been uh, above water at some point. Or under, yeah, above water. There's another little blueprint of sorts. Wonder yeah, what so there's our sea chart. So it really wasn't that far off. Robin, I have something important to share. Do you? Artifact. Yes. Although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we got the builder tool. Let's see. Can we make the moon pool? We want to make it... Yeah, right there. Perfect. Uh, lubricant and lead. Alright, we should be able to finish it, I do believe. Hell yeah, guys. Now we have our fucking moon pool. Sweet. Okay, so this moon pool should allow us to also charge our battery. So we'll go ahead and disconnect this from the main unit. And then we'll go ahead and get in the sea truck itself. And then we can dock it. There we go, guys. There we go. Beautiful. Now we will also be able to paint the sea, uh, sea truck as well. We just have to get some kind of module made, I do believe. Oh yeah, and our aquarium. So we have space for two eggs, just not these. Okay, so maybe we can just store these and hopefully they won't get damaged. If we come over here right now, we should be seeing that, yeah, that power sells at 100% and that one is also at 100%, so great. We have a means of recharging our shit. Uh, we are going to need quite a bit more power production at this point. The moon pool will drain us drastically fast. Vehicle upgrade console, so we need a computer chip and some wire. So we should be able to make this microchip here. There we go. All right, and there we go. Modification station right here in a pretty decent little spot. Shouldn't be in the way of anything. And then the next thing we need to build is the vehicle upgrade console. So we need another wire and another chip. So we need one wire, actually two wires, because we'll need one wire for the chip itself. And then we go ahead and make that chip. And then we can do the upgrade console. Nice. And this will allow us to do a variety of things, uh, such as, you know, color. We can change the color of our ship uh, and vice versa. Name it. We're going to put it, we're going to put it right here. Seems like a pretty good spot. There we go, and it adds a nice little reset. So we're going to go ahead and put that tool away in case something horrible happens. There's a little fabricator just for that stuff. But yeah, as you can see. All right, we'll do just a, we'll do a light powdery blue. It should be bright enough to where we see it right away. And let's see, what do we want these other colors to be? We could do some more blue accents, maybe. Interior. 
Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and get that shit nice and vibrant. We want it black. There we go, and we can do the name. So what are we going to name our sea truck? I will leave that up to you guys. Leave a comment in the comment section down below what we should name the sea truck. All right, so that is the color of our sea truck. Hopefully we don't get it lost. Uh, it is bright still but it's just not white. Okay, so the modification station. So this should allow us some interesting things, such as this ultra high capacity O2 tank. We have what we need to make it, so let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll need to take that off, go in here. There we go. That's huge, 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 huge. And that will add us, oh God, it keeps going. 180 seconds. That is massive. Another thing, this thermal blade, it cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So we need a survival knife, which we have, and a battery. So there we go, we have food on the go now, so that's one less thing that we have to worry about. Now these depth modules are gonna be quite interesting. Uh, let's see, do we have a tier one module? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and make that, if we can, to allow our sea chart to go just a little bit deeper. So we need a plastic ingot and two enamel glass. That seems simple enough. Go down here, sea truck depth module. There we go. Can we do the solar charger? Advanced wiring kit. We can. So another mod that we have, as long as I have the materials in my inventory or uh, in my storage units, it will automatically craft the things in series to make that item. So we're going to go ahead and make the advanced wiring kit as well. Which will give us that C module. So now we don't have to ever dock it into here. It will charge with solar. So we'll go ahead and pop that open. We'll go ahead and put the depth module in there and the solar charger as well. So now we don't ever have to make this thing touch this area again. So we can save this for, say, the prawn suit. And there we go, guys. Everything's the same color. I like how it just automatically matches it. So hopefully that should be bright enough. We won't have any issues as far as visibility of this thing. That's the plan anyway. And just to see how it is, our depth right now is up to 300 meters. So that is a massive, massive improvement. Well, I think that's all I have time for today, guys. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe as I am a very small YouTuber. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.